אז אני ענבר, אנחנו מייצגים בארץ את חברת אורקון, חברה שנותנת כלים להשוואות טקסט לזיהוי בדיקת מקוריות. אנחנו כבר נמצאים בשימוש באחת המכללות, זו השנה השנייה, בהצלחה גדולה. לינאה is from אורקון, she will give us the presentation, and If you have questions, then you can contact me, either me or Linnea later. Yes, thank you very much, Inbar. I will um, start uh, to present about Urkund by original. Uh, thank you very much for having us today uh, to present. And uh, I've listened to some of the presentations in English and it has been very interesting. And uh, I want to share my screen to um, to share some information about our offering and how we can support the academic community in, um, within METAL. So let me see if I can share my screen now. As uh, Imbar mentioned, I represent Urkund by Original and uh, I, am, um, um, I am located in Stockholm, Sweden, in northern part of Europe. And, um, It's uh, winter here now, so we have very cold weather. It's almost zero degrees. I think it came some snow this morning. Uh, I think it's uh, quite different to uh, what your uh, climate is right now. And um, I will talk about how we can support the academic uh, community uh, by addressing plagiarism prevention and detection. Urkund has been um, a specialized in text matching software for 20 years and uh, um, uh, um, helping uh, the academic um, networks all across the world to, uh, to prevent plagiarism. Um, before I start with showing you some more information about our, uh, us, uh, I want to mention a few challenges uh, that uh, are related to cheating and plagiarism. So some of the challenges that ac uh, the academic uh, communities actually can face is cheating and plagiarism. And from studies that have been conducted, you can see that plagiarism is actually more common than expected, unfortunately. And uh, from a study uh, from an acad academic integrity network in the USA uh, and the survey, it was found out that 62% of bachelor's students have admitted that they have cheated during their studies and 40% of master and PhD uh, degree st uh, students. A second challenge for um, the academic community is that plagiarism detection rate at universities are, are, is rather small. And it can be difficult to actually detect. So also from another study from Germany may, uh, made, they found out that 6% of all sheeting attempts get discovered and that 94% will never be discovered. And it is in our interest to address this by uh, helping the academic community to Uh, prevent plagiarism and cheating and promote academic integrity. And Urkund has joined forces with another plagiarism prevention and detection system from Germany called PlagScan. And together we are forming a new organization, our regional. Um, the product that is used is called Urkund and we will enhance uh, the the product and we have also become a larger organization with joint forces against plagiarism and towards academic integrity. And a scientific um, study that was conducted by the European Network of Academic Integrity in 2019 and 2020 Uh, where they compared 15 different plagiarism prevention and detection systems. And uh, both Urkund and PlagScan at that point were awarded the highest overall score, as you can see on the table on the right side. And this full test was conducted on two parameters, and that was coverage and usability. And we're very happy to see that our efforts in creating a stable system for text matching and to prevent plagiarism um, has resulted in, um, in the top ranking. 
And what the system does, it's a fully cloud-based automatic plagiarism uh, system where the student will submit their document to the teacher. And that can be done in three different ways, either through email, through direct upload in our web um, application, or through uh, integration with the learning management system, such as Moodle. And then the document will be automatically analyzed against the database, which contains mainly of the internet, published material, and student's material. And then we will automatically highlight any findings and text matches that we can find um, from the student submission and the database. And the results will then be um, presented in a analysis report that the teacher can use to assess what has happened to the text from the student. And this, uh, everything happens completely automatically and in the background of the learning management system. And the teacher only needs to worry about actually assessing the report. Something more about the database that, um, that our regional has built up during 20 years. The database that we match for text matches um, mainly is composed of the entire open internet, also student and researcher submissions and previously submitted documents that have been sent in throughout the years. Also scholarly journals, aggregated databases, and institutional repositories, national archives. And uh, you can see some of the um, publishers that we, uh, uh, international publishers that we have agreements with to access their content to search for text matches, uh, such as Springer, Tyler and Francis, some of the major publisher houses. And together we have more than 20 million articles from these particular publisher houses and we keep adding more content to the database to keep it constantly relevant for the institutions but we can also add any content upon request and we can add uh, university specific or institution specific content but also uh, new repositories or databases. I would like to add that the uh... Ocon covers Hebrew information in the internet. Uh, and as we compared, uh, we have found that uh, does it uh, the best when compared to other um, systems. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Urkund is completely compliant with Hebrew. And uh, when testing different um, systems, uh, we see very good results in finding sources. And uh, I will show you actually, uh, if I have time, uh, just a quick um, overlook of the report. And um, Urkund by Original, we are uh, well placed to support the academic community in Israel. We are uh, support Hebrew if any documents being sent in. Um, we are, have been working with uh, one of the colleges since 2019, Academic College of Tel Aviv Yafu, and uh, they have uh, used um, Urkund extensively since then. We also have an extensive database from all over the world with both international um, published material, but we also have local uh, sources from, uh, from internet, for example, and local repositories. We also have a seamless integration with Moodle where Urkund mainly works as a background service and you do not need to do anything else than enable Urkund within your Moodle environment. It is very easy to use and very easy to get started with both for teachers and for students. And uh, you already met Imbar and Nir. We have uh, local support and training, of course. And we can set up test, uh, testing for you, for your institution to uh, use Urkun for some time and try the system either in your Moodle environment or by standalone. Uh, so please reach out to any of us. Uh, I believe we will send out the contact information after as well. Uh, Lina, there was a question in the chat regarding Arabic. Okay, I didn't see that. Uh, yes. Uh, we support Arabic, if that was the question. Mm -hmm. Yes, we support Arabic. We support uh, all languages 
um, globally that are within Unicode, and that is mainly all languages that we support and can detect text matches. So yes. Okay, um, let's see here if I can click on the next one. And uh, I wanted to briefly show you as well how the report looks like. And this is a screenshot from the report where the teacher can assess what has happened to the text from the student. And so as you can see, this is a um, screenshot with different information. And I will actually jump into the window to my web browser to show you a live demonstration very quick. And of course, please reach out to us at to, for a more thorough uh, demonstration. In Moodle, we can show you uh, as well and for a test. But I briefly wanted just to show you um, the dynamic and, and interactive report where the teacher can assess a uh, text matches and potential plagiarism. And um, just to mention a few functionalities, there are different ways of assessing this report. Um, the first view that the teacher will arrive to is an analysis overview. And here there is different information about uh, the document that has been submitted to Urkund. And this particular document has 34 pages, I believe. Sorry, it's 45 pages, which you can see uh, you can view all pages. And each of these orange blocks on each page represent matches and ticks where we have found tick similarity. And this uh, gives the teacher a good overview uh, look of uh, where in the document we have found text matches. And there's also uh, different information. You can download the particular document that has been sent in from the student. Uh, directly here in the interface on the right hand side. This is a PDF. And you can also see that this document, there is a 4% overall text matches from um, in comparison to the database. But there is a comparison value that I can see the previous uh, submitted documents had an average of 64%. So this is very low in comparison to what has been sent in previously. And we have different ways of working with this report and recommendations, but each person can find their own way how they want to go deeper into the report or if they want to see uh, what has happened to the text here. You, under findings, there is a possibility to go to each matching block one by one to assess. And I will do that to show you how that can look. So clicking on the findings, I can see a side-by-side -side comparison view with the student text on the left-hand side and the matching text on the right-hand side with a link to the website where we have found text matches. And then I can, as a teacher, walk through all of these text matches blocks one by one to see what exactly what has happened to the text. And as I mentioned, there are different ways of doing this, of course. I believe there was a new question, perhaps. Imbar, do you have the possibility to look at it? Okay, they are asking if it's a compare, uh, comparing between students or only uh, outside sources. It's also a comparison with student material. So everything that is being sent in student material, uh, that will be checked against as well. So that is um, because we know, of course, it's common that students share material with each other. So that is also something that we check against. I, I will explain. I will add something in Hebrew. We are basically on the academic board who chooses to participate. We decide what shift he will do with Urkund. If he will participate in all the work, it's a decision of the board, even the archaeologists of the work from the past. והאם הוא מוכן לעשות שיתוף גם עם מוסדות אחרים, זה, זה, זה נתון להחלטה של כל מוסד. Uh, כמובן שברגע שיהיה שיתוף uh, של הרבה מוסדות, uh, אז אפשר יהיה לעשות את ההשוואות האלה ויהיה להם יותר ערך. ככל שיותר מוסדות ייקחו חלק באותו כלי uh, וייבנה דאטאבייס של עבודות סטודנטים מהעבר, ככה uh, ערך של הדבר הזה יהיה יותר גבוה. תודה. 
Um, this was a very quick overview of uh, how it looks like and how a teacher can assess the documents from a student. And um, uh, that was all from the um, uh, from uh, the demonstration. And um, let's see if I can go to the last one. So thank you very much for listening and please reach out to us so we can uh, set up demonstrations for you where you, we can address questions that can be important for your institution. And uh, we are more than happy to set up test accounts for your institution as well. You feel free to do it in uh, Moodle or in standalone version. So thank you very much.